The Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Indianapolis Colts. The Buccaneers are two and a half point favorites. Tampa Bay is back after a two game losing streak. People are wondering what's going to happen here. I think most of us knew that they were going to beat down on the Giants. The, the, Brady was not going to lose three in a row. And that's what they did. And especially if you get Gronk back, the team just looks a lot more explosive on offense. Um, the defense shut down the Giants, even though that's not very easy to do when Daniel Jones is just throwing interceptions right your way. Uh, and the, the, they look very, very good now. Um, they're back to where... And remember, they were they were not a great team up until December of last year, and then they found their footing. Um, as we're getting closer and closer to the playoffs, I think we're going to see Tampa really show um, that they are what I still think is the best team in the NFL. Uh, after a couple of rough losses, I think we're going to see a much more improved Tampa Bay team here. Indianapolis coming off one of the best wins of the year. They finally beat a good team. They finally beat a good team in Buffalo. They destroy Buffalo. Jonathan Taylor making his case to be the best running back in the league. He had a top 10 fantasy football performance of all time uh, on Sunday as, what are you, 185 yards, five touchdowns. It was the 18th time in NFL history a player scored five touchdowns in one game. He leads the NFL in rushing. Okay, now that Derrick Henry is hurt and that Christian McCaffrey is always hurt, Jonathan Taylor making a great case to be the best running back in the NFL. He's really showing it right now. What a fantastic season so far from Taylor. But in this game, though, and look, I said I was going to give Indianapolis, I was going to start believing in Indianapolis if they won. And I still do. I, I'm now like, all right, you know, they're, they're a decent team. And if they can beat Tampa Bay, I will be even more on board. But I do think Tampa's a better team here. So sorry, Indianapolis, you have to wait uh, for me to start um, believing you a little bit more. It's just maybe after this week. But Tampa is, I think, I, I just think they're the best team in the league right now. If you look at the talent, look at the skill level, I think they are the best team in the league. They've shown it. Um, and and they're, they're, they're getting their footing back. Now that they have Gronk back, um, now that the defense looks a little bit better, um, I think that now we're going to see – now. They, they play great at home. Can they do that on the road? We'll, uh, we'll see. I mean, the team has gone um, – they're just 2-3 and three on the road, which is rough, but I think we're going to see – against an Indianapolis team coming off a big win, I think we're going to see um, – I think we're going to see them really come together here on offense. Give me Tampa Bay minus 2.5.